and a good, lovely Sunday morning here at one of the greatest lakes that I haven't fished since last year, known as Murphy Lake. And I'm accompanied today here by my buddy Ryan. How are you making out back there? Oh, pretty good. <laughs> Oh, you got tangled, did you? <laughs> oh, that's all right. So, after winning second place again in the NSKFS third round at Thomas Lake, I decided to go celebrate by doing a f uh, some bass fishing here at one of my favorite lakes that I haven't fished since last year, and it's always been a good time here. Uh, I got some new stuff that I get to try out, uh, some new hooks that I got... Uh, from winning the tournament for some bass fishing today. We got all kinds of new uh, Terminal tackle here. We got like some EWGs here for Ned rigs and Some new jig heads and such like that all in different weights stuff for tube jigs So it's pretty cool that I actually won second place again and defended my title in that So today with an excitement here with Ryan, we're gonna be Fishing one of our favorite lakes. We haven't fished it last since last year. Yeah, it was like the very beginning of September last year is when we fished here. Yeah. <laughs> was it? It was Labor Day weekend. Labor Day weekend. Yeah. 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 Okay. Here, Labor Day weekend. So, today is going to be. Yeah, this is the first lake that we fished that weekend, and we also fished Loon Lake the yeah. second time. Yeah, we did. And then. The day after we went to Loon, you ended up going to um, uh, Shuby Grand Lake with Brandon. Yep. So today's going to be very exciting. We haven't fished here in quite some time. <laughs> so we haven't fished here since last year, and I'm looking forward. And I'm looking forward to having an ex exciting day. <laughs> Today is very calm, just like it was in the tournament. No wind at all. So we're going to be starting off. Of course, like I always do, if everybody knows me best, start off with some top water this morning to see if the bass are gonna break the surface today at, at some dragonflies or some bait fish. And then later on down the road, as we get down here and venture all the way down on the other side of the lake, probably gonna start off with some soft plastics too as well. So, you ready to begin today? Ready. Let's do it. <laughs> it's good to be back here in a lake, oh, yeah, that definitely. one of our favorite lakes. <laughs> Let's get this day started. So this morning I'm going to be starting off with a popper, uh, a popping image by Hedden. And what are you starting off with? Oh, <laughs> already, already bass already. What were you using? Spinner. An, a spinner bait or inline? Just an inline. Oh, an inline spinner. Look at that first fish of the morning. Just a small guy. Yeah, just a small guy. It is a catch. A it is a fish indeed. Yes, sir. Right there. Yep. One big sand flat here. There he is. Good one. Yep, just a small guy. Smack that popper some good though. There he is. There we go. Oop. Come on. There we go. First one in the morning. There we go. Hey, Ryan. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Nice. Yeah. Right there. Work it on the yard, are you? <laughs> That's what I get for pen not paying attention. Yup. Follow up. Get in there. Grab him. Oh, that was a good fish. There's one. There he is. Got one over here, though. Fish on. At a boy. Double header. Double it up. What do you got, Ryan? Oh, I got a nice bass. Ugh. Oh, big smallmouth. Big smallie. There you go. Get the net. Yep, yep. Just play him. Just play him. Big smallmouth. There's the biggest one right there first thing in the morning. <laughs> Swing him on up. Oh, nope. Oh, yeah. Take your time. Big smallmouth, too. That's a good one, Ryan. 
<laughs> oh, Ryan. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Do the inline spinner first. <laughs> Look at that, Ryan. Oh, my Lord. You got him. You got the biggest bass right now. Uh, I missed him on the popper. And you got him on the spinner. Oh, uh, settle down. Like yeah, I'll put you back in the water for now. For now. Oh, yeah, he's a, he's a good fish. He's a good fish. Oh, I'd like to see him. Look at that. Uh, yes, sir. He seems like he's pretty deep. Oh, yeah. Oh, he inhaled that spinner right there for you, bud. There you go. That is a good smallie right there, man. That's a big fish, man. The biggest fish right there in the morning. There we go. There we go. Put, put it back in the net. Take a look at yeah, take a look at them. Do you want to measure them? I got, oh, yeah. I got the catch board with me. Now to get mine. All right. Now you settle down. Get up here. <sighs> this is a good bass too. Oh, and he's got some war marks on him. This one. Look at that. Oh, Murphy Lake, man. It definitely holds some big bass. And the beauty part about this lake is, is that it's all private camps and there's no boat launch. So we had to go in a ditch, uh, launch our boat in a ditch in order to get bass like these. But you're a good fish, but I ain't gonna measure you because I want to see Ryan's. There you go. Goodbye now. Have a nice day. <laughs> good one. Biggest fish of the day. Oh, yeah. Biggest fish of the day so far. Well, just off the spinner too. Yeah, because he hit my he hit my top water bait at first, and I missed him. And I said, "Throw your line back in there." I knew you'd get him. Yeah. Perfect, man. Perfect. Good show. And it's only the wee hours of the morning. Yep. All right. So what what we just did there, uh, when that bass hit my top water, and you went right behind me, and I told you to throw it. Yeah. That's called the follow up yeah. technique. You know what that is? Yeah, I have an idea what it is. Okay, yeah. the follow-up technique, which a lot of people know, is uh, if two people are fishing, let's say, yeah, two people are fishing because it's me and you. Yeah. Uh, I'm using a top water. I'm fishing top column, of course, obviously. You're fishing uh, mid to, like, bottom with a spinner. Yeah. And a spinner is the spinner or spinner bait is designed to cover a lot of water, right? Yeah. So let's say you're fishing with somebody. They're using a top water. A bass hits your bait. They, yeah. miss, they miss it, right? Mm -hmm. That's where you go with a different bait that has a different presentation. Yes. And follow up right behind them as soon as I reel up and yep. cast in that same spot. Because that bass will still be there, but something different will be there for an offering. Yeah. And, they'll, and they'll usually hit it. Now, it doesn't work all the time, but nine times out of ten, that's how you usually put more fish in a boat with your yeah. friend. Good hit. Oh, big pickerel. That's a big one. That's a giant. That is a giant. Where's he? Okay, he's going under the boat. It's a pickerel? It's a big pickerel. Yep. Yep. Probably 20 plus inch fish. Just on a spinner. Yep, yep. Tire him out. Do your thing. Yeah, big pickerel. That's a nice fish. Right there. That a boy. Ryan! What's going on today? Why are you catching big fish? I might. One of them time. Oh. oh. Yeah. Don't worry, I got you. Oh. Don't worry, he's not going nowhere. Oh, watch your hook. There you go. Oh, oh, oh watch out. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, Ryan, what's going on there? I don't know, man. Just luck of the draw, I guess. Or I'm getting you. No, you're, you're fine, bud. It's all right. Just... Man, I might as well give you my second place medal I just won yesterday. Look at you. Do you mind getting a photo of me? Yeah. 
Don't mind at all, bud. Yeah. One second place you yesterday, I might as well give you my medal because you're beating me today. Just off the spinner, too. Yes, sir, man. Yeah. Okay. Oh, stop. Okay, hold him up higher. Higher. Yep, close to your face. There you go. And we'll measure them, too. Okay. Twenty-three inches. Wow. Twenty-three. That's a good fish right there. Good twenty-three inch pickerel right there. <laughs> well, those... Props to that. Yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> so those two went. Start of the morning so far. <laughs> it's pretty funny, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Oh no, that's great. So those kayakers up there. <laughs> you mind if you get my from your bag since it's close. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yes. Oh man, oh man. So those uh, kayakers over there the, that are just passed by me there, they saw me bring up that pickerel. <laughs> and they were trying to tell me to throw it up on shore. Oh, because they eat the trout that used to be in this lake. <laughs> well, I'm sorry to tell you, tell you ladies, but I'm not gonna throw a pickerel up on shore. Even though they are an invasive species and they have a reputation for destroying habitats, they're still a fun fish. And, you know, I'm all about catch and release, right? So, you know, some people agree with it, some people don't, uh, but you get people like that sometimes and, you know, you just humor them, really. I mean, don't get me wrong, I do agree that Trout fisheries used to be great and booming back in the day, but you know, you gotta understand times change. There's always gonna be invasive species and such like that, and you're just not ever gonna get rid of them unless you nuke every lake in Nova Scotia that has them. Me personally, I do like to catch a trout once in a while, so I do know, know where those women were coming from, but I'm just not gonna throw it up on land because you tell me to. <laughs> it's alright though, they're entitled to their opinion. Regardless if it's invasive or not, I like the catch and release and I just like fishing for them. And they're also good eating too, but I'm not one to throw fish on shore just because they eat trout. <laughs> If that's the case, I might as well throw a bass up on shore, too. And if I were to do that, I'd probably get crucified by the bass community. <laughs> I don't know how you do it, but you seem to always, every time I fish with you, always get a big one on a trout spinner. On a tiny little micro trout spinner. It's, it's amazing. Oh, here's a hit. That's a good one. Manny smack. Slap that. <laughs> no, he's not. All right, settle down. You're good. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. I'll let you go. You just got to cooperate with me. Thank you. Okay. You don't want me holding you. I understand you're mad and your lips are sore. I'd be mad too. In here, little guy. There, there we go. Oh, you got some war marks on you. Hmm. Oh, look at that! What is that? <laughs> Just a little infant. A oh, little infant. Look, ain't that cute? Oh, that is cute. 
<laughs> Look at that little thing. What were you gonna do with that little thing? Man, throw that back out there as bait. <laughs> yeah, imagine that. <laughs> This particular color here in the torpedo, I have not used yet. Silver black. Oh yeah. Right? And compared to the silver blue, as you can tell, there are tons of war marks on this one. <laughs> but we're going to give this a try and we're going to see how it works in the baby torpedo uh, size. Because I got tiny torpedoes, which is one size smaller than the baby torpedo. But I'm kind of in a torpedo mood. And even though it's dead calm. Oh, this is a small one. Nice. Oh, he's oh, gone. He's gone. <laughs> and even though I normally use torpedoes when the water is a little bit rough, little chop on the water, as you can see, off in the distance, that's when I like to use prop baits. But in calm water like this, sometimes it could be just as good. But even though I'm using top water, I want to experiment, see how this color performs because it's been sitting in my box, as you can tell, still brand new. It's got a little bit of war marks on it, but barely haven't been used because my best color is the silver blue. So we're gonna give the, look at that as soon as I casted it. Hold that thought for a minute <laughs> and it's a it. oh yeah and it's a pickerel <laughs> well that answers my question this uh lure actually works oh he's on the leader okay never mind <laughs> and this well that answers my question this <laughs> color they actually like <laughs> Oh, uh, that's... Whoa! <laughs> you almost hooked me there. <laughs> yeah, well, you look at that. Well, that answers my question about that. <laughs> now, to see if a bass will love you. <laughs> All right, get out of here. Oh. Well, a quick review on a color that I normally don't use, which is silver, uh, silver black, compared to my silver blue, which is basically the veteran, the war veteran of all my torpedoes. <sighs> I guess that there is more to this one than I thought. Now, keep in mind, this is a color I've never used. I don't often use a... It's just been sitting in my tackle box just because I wanted every color of the rainbow of the torpedo because the torpedo is my favorite lure because the story behind the torpedo is it was my very first topwater bait. My father uh, ever bought me. Uh, God rest his soul. <laughs> and it's been one of my all-time favorite baits uh, to use uh, in the prop bait category. And they're very universal. You can fish them any way possible. Me, I like to do the three twitch paws or every top water bait that I use. I wait till the rings disperse as soon as it hits the water. Three twitch paws. Sometimes they'll hit it on the paws. And you can mix it up too. You can do two, you can do one. Let the fish tell you basically how they want the torpedo. If they want it erratic, go crazy like this. If you want to pause it sometimes, sometimes leave it there and they'll hit it. And if you want to slow it down, sometimes a pause and a twitch or... Oh, look at this little tiny little thing. <laughs> you oh. got another bass, small yeah, bass. I felt like a slight hit there and then I was retrieved, retrieving there and then... And all of a sudden, next thing I know, this yeah. tiny little guy is, is, on, is on my hook. That's funny. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it is funny, dude. But yet, there are different ways to uh, work a torpedo uh, on how to give its presentation. But in the end, when fishing topwater in general, no matter if it's something that dances or walks on the water, 
gurgles like a popper or sputters like a prop bait, let the fish tell you how they want their top water baits. that time. <sighs> Gotta say, the silver black, doing pretty good this morning. There you go, nice small yes, it is. Yep. Oh, heads up. That was big. I just seen the back on that smallie. Yeah, that looks big, dude. Hold up a second. What was he doing way out there? I really line up. And you got him. Decent. Okay, follow up. You're getting pretty good with the follow up technique, though. No, did, I know. Did you get him or? No, I didn't get him. Ah. <laughs> That's all right. Oh, there's some bass out here. I just had another one hit me. I'll be darned. Okay, there's one more time with the top water, and then I'm going to try my own follow up. Oh, look at that. Oh, there he is. <laughs> I was ready to reel and he smacked it. Oh, he's spinning around. He might be foul hooked. Oh my God, what a foul hook. That's a foul hook if I've ever seen it. No, he folded. <laughs> oh, he folded. Couldn't do nothing. Look at that. Oh, that's funny. There you go. Better scramble like an egg before you get folded like an omelet. <laughs> Seems like they're way out now, too. <laughs> These bass are probably suspending. Yeah. These bass are out here suspending because they're smacking the top water and they're hitting. Whoa. All right. Oh my God. Are you serious? You did it again. <laughs> oh, will you stop that? Yeah, these bass are out here suspended on something, suspended chasing something because I'm getting them on the top water and you're getting them on the spinner. Okay. Try a five inch Senko in the color of Mystery Sparkle. Oh, look at that. There was a jump right there in front of me. Right as soon as I casted it. Look at that. And I put it right on top of him. He's going to hit it. Are you kidding me? As soon as I put away the top water, now you're going to hit. Oh, there he is. Got him. Oh boy, this is big. Oh, big. oh, it does. Oh, he hit the Senko as soon as he break, broke water for the dragonfly. Oh, it's a pickerel. <laughs> I thought it was a big bass, but it's a big, it's a nice pickerel. No, 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 I don't need the net. Yeah, uh, look at that right there. That's a nice pickerel right there, isn't it? Yeah. Beauty. Beautiful fish right there. I did see one surface though. I think it was a bass. And I thought that, honestly, that was a big bass. Because that would have been nice. But one did jump at a dragonfly. And I threw it exactly and reeled it right on top of him and he hit it. Yeah. 
could have been a pickerel. I mean, could, that's probably what it was. I don't know. Yeah. Well, they're hungry for Senkos out here, that's for sure. We're just on the outskirts of these lily pads here before we decide to go beat the banks again. And we've been catching uh, some bass on top water and now a pickerel on out here. So we're going to pick apart this spot here a few, a few more minutes before we move on. Uh, yeah. Sure. Plenty full out here. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. Man, it's pretty good. Oh. That's amazing right there. There you go. Nice average fish. Okay, so before I go back to the top water here and investigate this uh, field of lily pads, we're going to continue with the Senko and beat the banks for a little bit and see what I can get on it. And I know there has to be something around that fallen log here. Oh, there's definitely got to be. Oh, no, that's bottom. Okay. Well, the fallen tree here. Oh, I had another bite. There he is. He's back. Oh, nope. He kept picking it up and dropping it. He bit once and then dropped it and then he had it again and then uh, pretty much dropped it again. <clears throat> Try by this uh, dock here. I was trying to control the trolling motor and he hit. <laughs> well, this feels nice though. Nice. Average. I knew there'd be something around that fallen tree though. Yeah. Nice. All right, all right. Nice little smallmouth. Thanks for coming out and playing. What do you got? Pick roll. There you go. Sling him in the boat. Nice. That a boy, Ryan. Lots of them around. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going to go back to the torpedo. Because I did want to catch a... I did want to catch a few on the Sanko. Now we're going to keep beating the banks here with the lily pads uh, with some top water. And Ryan, how you doing back there? Oh, I'm doing pretty good. Uh, but yeah, it seems like fucking things like... Uh, well, careful lipping it because there is teeth. Do you need help or do you want me to do it? Do you got it? Okay, awesome, bud. Good job. Oh, you're doing pretty good, Ryan. Oh, yeah. Two big fish this morning. Yeah, two big pick 
through and big bass. Proud of you, man. Here's one. Nice, bud. Get him in. That was just a small, average size, small, small bass. Hey, man, a fish is a fish. Oh, yeah. That's how you got to look at it. Right? Definitely. A little fighter. Yep. Jigged him right in. Jigged him right in the gill, too. Oh, oh, yeah. Good job. Wow. Oh. <sighs> My God. Uh, he was right at the boat. Oh, I don't want to spook it. <laughs> And you got him. Okay, never mind. I don't need to do that. Okay, let me get my bait out the way. Dang it. It's all good. It's all good. Okay, let's work together here. Okay, give me your rod. Give me your rod. Okay. I thought he was over it. Okay. Okay, you got your drag set. You got him too. Nice, Ryan. I didn't want to be over top of him. I was hoping you'd get him. All right, you're free. Get him. Need net? Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. He's so, a fighter. Okay. That's a big smallie. Okay, and I missed him. I was like, oh my god. All right. Ready, fight him in. Nice small mouth. Yeah, that's a good smolly right there. Oh, I'm so glad you got him. I didn't want you to cast out because I had, I wanted, I wanted you to, the only reason why I told you not to cast out is because I was right on top of him and I didn't want to spook him with the boat, but yeah, yeah you got him. Oh, thank goodness for that. Oh, good show, Ryan. How's it looking on that? Looks pretty good. Looking good back there? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Can't believe we're out in the open here in the middle of the lake. Yeah. Oh, there's a good one. Big bass! Oh, yeah. Big smallmouth. Yes, sir. Need the net? Nope. Yep, biggin, biggin. <laughs> There's a good smallie. Now that is probably a 14 or a 15 inch fish right there. Look at that. Ooh, you were hungry, weren't you? You were hungry. For a torpedo breakfast. Look at that, right there. <laughs> Let's take a minute and measure you. <laughs> Unfortunately, I tried to measure that bass and off camera he flipped back in the water. But that's what happens when you use a catchboard. It's bound to happen to the best of us. Isn't that right, Ryan? Yep. All right, Ryan. Switched up to the crankbait and actually caught a bass on it. Good call. Nice one. Oh, oh. Yeah, but don't matter. <laughs> it's all right. Well, at least we know the crankbait works. Quiet out here, though. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Wow. 
Holy fucking shit. What happened to your line? He broke it. Oh shit. <laughs> Did he oh yes he did. He took my torpedo. Oh that sucks. Oh no. No. That was a big fish. Oh what? <laughs> Well, rest in peace, silver black torpedo. You served me well. Let's go with this one. The shad color. That was a good one. He rolled it though, he didn't hit it. There's a good one, yeah. Ah, that's a good fish. That's a good fish, right there. That is a nice one. He looked bigger when he jumped though. Still indeed a good fish though. Right there, look at that. See ya. All right. There's bass to be caught out here. Which is funny because these bass normally hang out and around rocks and docks and such, but they're out here in the weeds, hanging out in pickerel territory. That's good. Oh, yep. Torpedo man. The most underrated bait in anyone's tackle box. <laughs> And one of my favorites. Settle down. Come on. Thank you. Yep. The silver white seems to work good as well. <laughs> See you later. Okay, so you're handling top water. I'm gonna start with a Mare. See what I can find. TRD. No, not a TRD. Uh, Rapala Crush City Mare. Oh, yeah. It's, it's a swim bait. Uh, and we're going to see what's out here for that. There's a good one. Good bass, yep. Good bass on the swim bait. Nice. Oh, get out from under the boat. Good one, dude. Yep. Good one indeed. Nice. Yep. Good one indeed. Actually, let's take a minute and measure this guy. He's a good one. Twelve inches. Okay, not so bad. Yep. Because now I got the silver blue on. Been on a torpedo craze. Wow, what a hook set! Nice, buddy. Oh, a decent bass too. No, they don't seem to want. What do I have? Swim in. Yeah, that's a good bass run. Oh, yeah, that's a good bass run. Is a good. Uh, that's not a bad fish. No, it's not at all, Ryan. That's actually a good one. Good little 12, 11 and a half, 12 inch fish. But they're fat. They're right round. Yeah, that's a good one. Let's say, whoa! Oh, that's what I get for not paying attention. Yeah, good going, Cordell. <laughs>
Nice hook set. Beautiful. Oh, big bass, big bass, big bass. I, I got you, I got you. Yep, yep, just fight him, just fight him. Just fight him, bud. I got you. Just hang on to him. All right, ready. Nice one, Ryan. Nice smallmouth. Tire him out. You know what you're doing. You got this, buddy. Oh, yeah, you got tons of grass on you, too, so. All right, he's coming. He's coming. Oh, oh, bring him in. Oh, big smallie. Yes. Got him. Yes. Yes, sir. Nice one, Ryan. There's a good one. Look at that. All right. He brought the whole salad bar with him. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> And I'll all have a look at him. That on a white grub, man. Look at that. Man, I gotta I gotta get me some white grubs. <laughs> oh yeah. There you go, buddy. He's all yours. Here, I'll get the pretty good size bass. Get the salad bar off here. There you go. Ryan! Man, should I give you my silver medal? Cause you are whooping me today with big fish. You are just killing it today. And that's what I like to see. I know I can catch fish. But I like seeing other people catch fish. It's just really great. Yes, of course, we can get a picture. There you go, buddy. Move a little bit this way with your face. There you go. Atta boy. There you go. Want a, me want a measurement or no? Oh, uh, I'd say he's probably like 12 and a half, 13 inches. Now, I can't, I can't, I can't believe that. Okay, now I have to measure him. Now I have to, just to see. That that is a that can't be twelve because that is a chunky fish. Yeah, thirteen. You called it. Yeah. Yeah. That's that is a said, that's 12. a chunky thirteen. Wow. There he goes. Unreal, man. Oh yeah. You are killing it today, Ryan. That is good. Good job, buddy. So the people you see out here on the water all personally live here in the summer, right? Yeah. So, so that's the beauty part about this spot. No way. Oh. <laughs> Get me going there for a minute. Oh, I got it out. Did you? Yeah. That's good. That... Holy! Whoa. Whoa. That was a big explosion. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yes, sir. Look at that. Another nice bass indeed. <laughs> Man, he hammered that some good. It's a foul hook, but oh my lord, he hit that so close to the boat. Did you hear the explosion? I, I heard the big blow up. There. Oh man, look at that right there. Oh yeah. You gotta eat that sometimes when you're a bass fisherman, right? Yeah. It makes your heart jump. It yeah. definitely startles you, that's for sure. When you're having a man, when you're having a heart. Well, when it blows up like that, especially. Oh, when you're having uh, you got another one! Yeah, it doesn't feel very big. No? Though. What is he? Doesn't feel big. No, that's Quite a dank. Small. Yeah. That's uh, another 13. <laughs> uh double up. Double up on the fish. And go here. Let's compare size. <laughs> yeah, yours is, a, yours is definitely yeah. No, I'll tell you, you gotta you gotta eat that sometimes when you're a bass fisherman because if you want a jump start in your heart, just fish top water, man. They blow up like crazy on it, and it, there is an angler I know that can argue that top water fishing isn't fun. Oh, <laughs> yours fell, huh? Yeah. Oh, there we go. doubled up and sure enough we caught two dinks and yours fell off we'll still count it though it's a double up it hit the side of the boat oh good redemption redemption after losing the first one ryan with the comeback just a small guy though uh, this one here just choked on my bait uh that's way down there there you go oh yeah small guy there we go 
Hold him up. Who's is bigger? Yours is bigger. <laughs> well, yeah, for sure. You can get him. Bad boy. Nice one, Ryan. Right as soon as I was done filming, there was a bass jump at a dragonfly right here in front of me, like so. I wonder if he'll hit it. Got him! I knew it! <laughs> yes! That same fish. Only a small guy. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh, he jumped at a dragonfly and I stung him. That that's funny. Oh, oh. well, you stuck. Oh, no. Nope. Just the way you were. <laughs> oh yeah. Turning the boat there uh, kind of got me off guard. Oh, sorry. That's no. all right. <laughs> My bad. Oh, he smacked that some good. That was a good hit. Another one. Ugh. Yes. All right. There's fish to be caught out here. Look at that, Ryan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right here in front of me. Just off camera. Right about there. Got him. Oh, I knew you would, and he folded. <laughs> you were jumping at something there beside that rock all this time on my way over, and I knew I would get you. All right, let me unfold your situation here. There you go. Kept jumping at something right there, and I knew I threw my bait over there. Right by the rock. Right by the rock. He kept jumping at the same thing in the same spot. I knew I'd get him. Oh wow, big smallie. That's a good smallie, Ryan. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Another good sized bass, possibly 14, 15 inch. Come on, rod up. You don't want you him to drag your rod in the water. No, use the rod tip, not the back of the rod. There, bud. There you go. Just like that. Do it again. Oh. Going down. No, he's alright, he's alright. Swing him in this way. There you go. Oh, we just got him in too. Yeah. There you go. Ah, nice bass, Ryan. That's a nice fish. That is a nice fish indeed. Remember though, when you're fighting a bass, don't lift the back of your rod. Use the rod tip and lift them up. Yeah. Because if you're too close to the boat like that, Oftentimes they'll get off because you're not using your rod to hoist them up, right? When they're close to the boat like that, just use your rod tip. You see how I fight my fish, right? Yeah. No, that's how you have to do it. That's a good bass right there. Want a measurement? I'd like to get you okay. a picture of me holding them straight up yeah. too. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Want a yeah, me you can get a measurement on him. Let's take a look at this guy. That's a good bass, Ryan. And you are... Let's take a look here. You are... Fourteen five. Nice. Yeah. 14.5. There she goes. There you go. You can put him back. That a boy, Ryan. There you go. Good fish. Lovely fish. All right. We're going to switch it up. We're going to start with the spitting image.
just a small, uh, it's about medium or small. Yeah, it looks about average. Whoa. Nice. Yeah, nice, indeed. Oh, here we go. A decent one here. <sighs> nice little bass. Seems slow back here, but you know what? We're still catching them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, would you look at that? Right? Nice little smallmouth. Yeah, get up here. Get up here. Yeah. What a good one, isn't it? Well, the fish ain't on the dog, buddy. Cast it. Oh, I got one. Hook. There you go. You got one. And you bounce it off the dock and you got one. Oh, is it? No. Uh, grass. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I really thought you had one there. Oh, good smallmouth. Oh, find him in. That's a good one. Yeah. That's a good one, Ryan. You did not. Did you lose him? Yeah. Oh my god, that was a good bass, bud. Oh, I know. Oh well. That's a good one. Oh, what is that? That is solid. Oh, that's solid. Wow. Nice smallmouth. Yes, sir! That's the fun that got away from me. Nice smallmouth, too. Look at that. Oh, boy. Yeah, we got a nice smallmouth on. Yes, on the Senko. Get in here, big fella. Oh yeah, oh yeah, nice smallie. Yeah, you're hooked, you ain't getting off. Come on, in you go, in you go. That's a good one. That is a good one, man. That's the same, that's the, the one, one that, that hit from, me. from you, is it? Yeah. That follow up. Look, look, look like it, could, yeah, look, yeah, look, look it's the same one. The same one, because I threw in that, because the funny thing is, I threw in that same spot, and, uh, as a follow-up, but I didn't say nothing about it, and I knew he would hit it because you lost him, right? Yeah. yeah. There we go. Look at that. Yes, sir. What a beauty. Yeah. It'll take a minute. We're going to get a measurement on this one. Well, that's a good one, Ryan. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And you are... 14.25. Yeah. 14.25. That's a decent one right there. And there he goes, right down. Woo! All right, a 14. A 14.25, I should say. That's pretty neat, isn't it? Oh, and I just had another one. I wasn't ready for it. I'll be darn, I just had another one. Another fish just hit me, and I wasn't ready for it. The old mystery sparkle's working! Because we're fishing on a shallow flat, lots of grass at the bottom from what I've been seeing, and the wind decided to, decided to finally come since it hit the afternoon. Whoa! Oh. oh, he just pulled my line. I wasn't even ready for that. He hit so quick. Uh, 
I just had a bass hit me so quick it nearly yanked the rod on my hands. Oh yeah, he started running with it. Did he take my... Oh, he... yeah, he took my worm. Uh -huh. Oh, no. Oh, that's fine, that's fine. He stripped it right off, he hit so quick. Yeah, get yourself out there in that, around that swimming dock. Because they're out there. Well, you've confirmed something for me, Ryan. White is working right now. Yeah, just dinks, but yes. you know what? A fish is still a fish. Exactly. Right? And the wind picked up versus what it used to be like here at first thing in the morning. But we're still catching fish. Um, but we're going to move because we've been in this spot for a while now. We're going to see what's up furthermore. That's a good one. Ooh. Oh, beautiful one. Double? <laughs> Did you get it? <laughs> That's a better one right there. It's pretty sweet. Get him in. <laughs> That's pretty small. Hey! <laughs> good, how are you doing? Catch a fish. Yep. Yeah. Small moat. Unfortunately, I wish they were trout. <laughs> No, got to go back, got to go way back in the woods nowadays to get them. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, Cornwallis River, I usually fish for browns and such, right? So. Oh, yeah, at this point. Ryan, what is that? No, no, that looks like a... Big ba bass. Actually. Bass? Okay. All right. Claiming. Remember, rod tip up when you get close to the boat. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Claiming. Nope. That's a pickerel. Nice pickerel too. That a boy. Okay. Up. Rod up. There you go. Slide him in. Oh no. No, he went jumpy. Okay. Play him out. Play him out. Remember, rod tip up and swing him into the net, but only when he's ready. Big fish, too. Yeah, yeah, he is. Just tire him out. Okay. He's heavy. Okay, drag him in this way. There you go. Yes. See? Wow, that is a good fit. Man, look at the green on this fish. Oh my god. Yes, sir. See what I mean? When yeah. you keep your rod tip up, you have more control. Yeah. So there you go. Perfect. Perfect indeed. Holy jumpins! That is a big fish. That's got to be like 24 inches at least. That's a big fish, actually. Or maybe even bigger than that, man. No, nope, that's a uh, that's a big fish. Oh, well, hold on. Uh, yep, that's a, that's a big fish. That's a big pickerel right there, bud. Holy God. And you got that on the X-Wrap I gave you, too. The Rapala X-Wrap. Yeah. In glass ghost color. Look at that, man. Oh my God, Ryan. You want a measurement? Yeah. All right, let's get this thing measured. This is a big fish. Ryan, man, you've been killing it today. Let's see what you are. You are, now, if I can do this correctly. You know what? We're gonna do it the old fashion way. Uh, Ryan, man. All right, let's see what he is. Okay, tip of the nose. 24. My, my God, that's a good fish. Yeah, 24. You're catching big fish and I'm not. What's going on here? How'd you even do that? You're, you're turning it. You're turning fun into extremely fun. How'd you even do that? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no comment from the peanut gallery, I guess. As I said, I might as well give you my silver medal because you are 
whooping me today. Okay, so you're telling me I gave you that X wrap and you caught a decent fish on it? Yeah. Uh, well, that, I'm gonna that I never even expected either. What? I never expected that. Well, I'm going to match it with a Rapala Balsa BX Minnow because if you can't beat them, you might as well join them. It, and for some reason, you can use. A minnow a lot better than me, it seems. Oh! You get one too? Yeah, I did. On a BX minnow. Uh, X wrap and a BX minnow. Yes, sir. And he hit that so hard. He slammed it. Oh my god, it's only a day. Yeah, double header on minnows. But man, he slammed this BX minnow so hard. And you got yours on the X wrap. Yeah. Yeah. Unreal. That... That's good. That's good. That's a good sign. Right there. Look, you wanted that, didn't you? Oh, Rapala BX minnow 7. Can you get him? Yours, right. looks, a little, yours looks a little bigger, though. All right. See whose is bigger. This is mine and this is Ryan's. And Ryan wins that one. <laughs> Here you go. Here's your bass. All right. Well, unfortunately, you weren't big enough. But you know what? You're still a fun catch regardless. Nice. Man, the BX Minnow. <laughs> oh, the BX Minnow by Rapala. <laughs> Holy God. Oh, thanks for the splash attack. Oh, the BX Minnow. A lure that I don't often use that is actually working today. All right, settle down, come on. Oh, and that's a nice bass too. Look at you. I'd say that's... I'd say at least 13. Yes, I definitely would say a 13. But they want Rapala uh, minnows, it seems. A Rapala X Rap you're using and a Rapala BX minnow I'm using. They seem to want that in this lake. Today, yeah. anyways. No, it's great. Like, look at this. Let's take a minute and measure this guy. I'm just having fun, not really using the catch board. 13.5. There you go. That's a good one right there. Man, it's a Rapala BX minute. Oh, yeah. It's a Rapala day, actually. So this is the lure I was using to catch these fish on, which is a, called a Rapala BX Minnow, which is right here. The signature trademarks are right here on the end of the bait, and it's a balsa bait. Uh, so basically, it's a shallow diving crankbait that when stopped reeling, it actually floats to the top a lot faster. So balsa baits, I mean, oh, another one. Yeah. So balsa baits, uh, in particular, uh, I find they have a floating rate that floats up a lot faster and should be fished more erratically. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, they're my favorite uh, of all Rapala baits, uh, next to the X-Rap, but the Rapala balsa uh, BX minnow sometimes has its charm too. Yeah, that is a good one indeed. But while I like fishing Rapala X wraps a lot and shadow wraps, the Rapala BX Minnow definitely has its place too. Uh, the BX Minnow, I recommend fishing very erratically when the bass are active. Nope, nice, you got one? Yeah. Nice, buddy. Double header. Double header. So the Rapala BX Minnow, I recommend fishing erratically when uh, the fish are active, they're definitely biting, 
and wanting to chase a bait. Oh, oh. <laughs> you Does lost that mean it. when I hold it like that, fish is gonna fall. <laughs> it's all right. So I need the net. Yeah, it's all right. So with a Rapala BX minnow, as I was saying, uh, these are the type of baits that you want to fish very aggressively, like really power fish it, I find, because I find with its uh, floating rate, floating rate, as soon as you use it, uh, and it goes down and you're given its presentation, it floats up really quickly. So, yeah. you, so with a bait like this, you definitely want to fish very erratically and aggressively. And in my opinion, I find is a very good power fishing bait as well. So the BX Minnow is actually really good. Nice. No, no? <laughs> that's grass. This is a nice bass though. Let's take a minute here. This is just thick. This is a thick fish. I'm telling you right now. You are 13.5 same size yep 13 5 that's a good fish right there so the fish the feed bag is definitely turned on since uh, we were back there and yeah. we weren't catching anything uh, so I guess it's uh, fishing aggressively uh, up this way all right bud see ya so yeah this is a bait right here that I'm using. You can pick it up anywhere it's between Walmart, Canadian Tire, or your local Bass Pro Shops, or anywhere else that you uh, like to fish uh, shop for your fishing tackle. Yeah. Yeah. And it's right there. Rapala BX Minnow. So it's a good thing that these bass are actually pretty lively right now because I did manage to pack a couple of uh, minnow baits with me. And surprisingly, they are actually hitting uh, the, the minnow. Ryan behind me here is using a Rapala X-Rap, which I gave him. And I'm rocking a Rapala BX minnow. And the way I fish this BX minnow, as you can see, uh, that I've caught a couple bass on him, is once I make my cast, I let it set for a few minutes, think of it as a topwater, because oftentimes a bass will hit it on the strike, right? Because it's a balsa bait, and where it has a higher uh, floating rate, as soon as you're giving it a presentation, it will float up to the surface very much faster than your average Rapala bait. So, fishing this erratically, when you know the bass are biting and they're wanting to chase and they're just slamming on bait fish, give it a couple twitches. I think of it as a torpedo. Let it stop sometimes because while it gives a chance the bait to float back up, the bass will sometimes hit it on the stop, right? So, give it a couple twitches. There, let it stop, and you see what I mean? Yeah, you see what I mean? When the bass are really turned on, uh, fishing an erratic bait like the Rapala BX Minnow will produce results. Now, this is only a small bass, mind you, but you get the picture of what I'm talking about when fishing an aggressive bait that is the Rapala BX Minnow. Come in. There you go. And that's the result of it right there. Yes, it's not a big bass, but you get the idea. Nice one. On, on his X-Rap. There, Ryan got a smallie. What do you got? What is that? Heck, a uh, bat? Wait! White perch! What? 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 No way! White perch on the X wrap, bud! Okay, what? okay, you won today. Right there, buddy. You won today. Look at that. Oh my god, that is a big white perch. That is a big white perch. I'm gonna. I never knew there's white perch here. Yes, white perch, bud. Okay, you won today. You officially won today. Multi-species trifecta. You got a pickerel, you got a smallmouth bass, and a white perch. You just earned multi-species. Not only that, but trifecta. Add a boy, Ryan. White perch on the. I never knew there's white perch here. White perch on the Rapala X-Rap. 
I normally just catch them on like spinners. Oh yeah, no, they'll hit a minnow. They like bait fish too. What a big white perch that is. That is amazing, Ryan. Atta boy. You uh, want this one or? Nah, I'm not in a white perch mood today. Going back. There he goes. And there he goes, right back down. Ryan, man, give me some. <laughs> All right, Ryan, tell me that right now. Quick interview question right now. What is going on? How did you get that white perch? It's the handy dandy luck, lucky bait. Yeah, that I yes. gave. Yeah, that I gave you. You know, I kind of want it back now. <laughs> nah, I'm well, kidding. Well, you ain't getting it back because the reason why you ain't getting it back is uh, because I told you in advance that I needed the net to net that chain pickerel. Yeah. Like, no, no, no. It's going to be okay. Next thing you know, snap. <laughs> yeah, but. You owe me, bud. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, but. <laughs> you don't have to slap me in the face with a white perch, though. Come on. Like I said, <laughs> I never, ever would have known there was white perch in here. Uh, I never, ever would have known. Now I'm kind of regretting giving you that lure. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I've caught white perch on on spinners. I've caught them on yep. perch rapplers. I've oh, caught yeah. them on worm and a hook with a couple weights. For sure. No. Like they're they're also kind of hit fish. That, are not very fussy either. No, they're not, that's for sure. All right, man, it's a wrap. I cannot fucking believe I caught a white perch. A white perch on an X wrap. I mean, I've. I cannot believe. I've I caught. I never, ever would have known that there I mean, I've caught white. Here. I've caught white perch on, uh, on swim baits. I've caught them on top water. But I do know that. Uh, crankbaits. I'm pretty shocked. Crankbaits. I'm pretty shocked over this. Yeah. Crankbaits and minnows will work with white perch because they will feed on small bait fish. Yeah. Uh, even yellow perch. I've caught yellow perch on these baits before, but it's a first for you, and I'm glad I got the reaction that y you, uh, that I'm, I've seen. So this is great. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty shocked. Oh, this I'm is, this is. I'm honest with you, dude. Yeah. I never, ever would have known there's white perch here. I. I didn't never, think there never, was never, either. Like, I I didn't even think there was white perch. No, I didn't either, because last time we were here, uh, we never caught no, we no, never we caught, was. We caught mostly bass that day. Bass and pickerel. pickerel that yep, exactly. So yeah. that's surprising. So you got multi species and trifecta today. That's a big achievement today yeah, here in this is. lake. All right, bud. Let's get the rap list back oh, out in the water. Oh, yeah. Surprise. No, that's, that's good, man. And again, earlier i was sitting here trying to help you and bass are coming up trying to steal my bx minnow right off the surface of the water no way oh ryan no oh ryan oh my god man get back out there bud man you are slaying it today another one on the bx minnow there's a good one. What is it, a bass? No, pickerel. Okay, never mind. Oh, it's a pickerel. Yeah, it's a pickerel, but you know, oh, no, okay. Oh, <laughs> got yeah, lost him. <laughs> yeah, we lost him. Cast outwards where there's not much grass out here? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Another one! Oh my god, he hit it! Oh, and it's a good bass! <laughs> That is a nice oh, pass. pass. Oh my god, that's a that's wow. a good smolly. Oh wow. PX Minnow Pine! <laughs> oh Rapala PX Minnow. Oh, it's a Rapala day today. Here in this lake. Oh, it's amazing. Yes. Oh my god, look at the size of this bass. This bass wow. is really good. This is a good one. This is a good one. <laughs> oh, there ain't nothing like catching wow, big smallies on right, small baits perfect. like this. Look at that right there. Holy freaking God. Oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. Look at the size of this bass, folks. Yes. Oh, just a this a dink. Double header, though. That's a double header. Double header, but that's amazing though. 
Just a tiny, mm, just a tiny one, man. Oh, we are slaying him on the Rapalos. Okay, we're staying. You get foul hooked him, did you? Uh, oh, yeah, right there in the side. Okay, that still counts, though. Like, wow, man, look at that. Look at the size of this bass right here, folks. Right here. Woo! I'm turfing this one back in. All right. All right, let's see. How big are you? Yes, I know I'm using a measuring tape versus my catch board, but you know what? It's a fun day. 15. Oh, baby. You still got biggest fish, though, because you caught a 16. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 15 inch. Yeah. 15 inch bass right there. Man, look at that. That is amazing. Man, Rapala Minnows, man, they're amazing. <laughs> Ryan, bud, I think we found a honey hole. We sure did indeed, dude. We're in for free. Oh, yeah. Oh, they want, oh, they want BX minnows today. Now, I, I caught a pickerel. Now, if I can get a white perch for myself, I will have trifecta too. Right now, I only got multi. What do you mean by trifecta? Trifecta. Oh, it means you caught three different species. Exactly. Right? Yes. It's it's a term that I learned when I was in the N when I'm when I was in the NF NSKFS with uh, with the crew, and my buddy Gary. Uh, when I fish with him and pre fish, pre fish with him. Here, we'll get out of the grass a little bit. Uh, yeah. Well, so when I pre fish with uh, Gary Lynch and Colton Taylor and them guys, right? Yeah. Uh, they would talk about that the thing w uh, called the trifecta, which is when you catch multi-species, but you catch three different species of fish. Yeah. For example, you caught a smallmouth bass, 16 inches, which is biggest fish so far. You caught a chain pickerel, which was big. It was 123 and 124. Yeah. And you caught that one white perch, right? Yeah. So you... For bragging rights, in the boat, have trifecta. So that's oh. that's that's what that is. I get you. So, oh. so if you catch two of the different species, it's just multi-species. But if you catch three of three fish of different species, it's called a trifecta. Yeah. Just a little bragging right thing between the NSKFS, right? Yeah. Well, like I said, man, you you got a kayak. You own a kayak, right? Yeah. Come on, join us, man. Help uh, my buddy Michael Cox. He could really use some anglers to help build his business. Yeah. I'm telling you, it's a, it's a good time out there. You get to meet good people. It's a good time. It's a good laugh. And I'll tell you right now, it's not one of those tournaments where if you lose, you don't get nothing. Everybody gets a chance at winning something. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah I really think you should join. You got a kayak. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Come, come join us uh, for next year. I'm sure Michael would love to have you out there. White perch. Wow, dude. I got a white perch on. Yes, sir. White perch on the BX Minnow. Holy crap, man. Look at that. Look at the size of this thing. No. Oh, come on, man. You didn't have to do me like that. Oh. Clumsiness. <laughs> no, I have butter on my fingers. That's exactly what happens, you know. <laughs> oh, I went to go measure it, and then unfortunately not. I can't wait till I get my... Uh... Nice! What do you got? Smalley. Nice. Good job. Okay, okay. I got the net ready. Just the way the flag's Okay, okay. All right, no. all right. Just take your time with it. Remember, rod tip up close to the boat. Okay. Okay, hold on, hold on. <sighs> nice smallmouth, buddy. All right. It's a bad uh, Rod tip up. Remember, rod up. I can't scoop them if your rod tips down. Okay. Good, Smalley. Good. All right, tire them out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Swing them to me. There you go. There you go. <laughs> oh, 
Look at the size of that bass, bud. Oh, we're on a honey hole here. Oh, we are. We are Great on a honey hole. Oh, oh man, oh man, oh man. Hold that up for the camera. Let's see that one. Yes, sir, Ryan. That's a good yes, one. Yes, sir, eat Bob. Yes. All right, off camera, I was trying to use the blade bait to try to go for perch, but I guess that was wishful thinking because I thought I was in a school of perch. But two white perch was caught. Unfortunately, it's not enough for me to have a perch fry, just like I did in Gasparo Lake. Here. Oh, you want a picture? Yeah. Sure, sure thing, bud. All right. Want to measure them or? Uh, you hand me the measure tape. Okay. I'll measure them. Yeah, go for it, buddy. And what is he? 14. A 14. 14. 14 and 14 one quarter. Nice. 14 and one quarter. That a boy, Ryan. No, not at all. Tell me your secret. Where are you catching these bass at right now? Just casting over, over in the suspended water. All right, bet. I'm gonna do the same thing, even though my reel is like super grindy right now. Yeah. Oh my God, Ryan, you were right. <laughs> Like I told you. <laughs> okay, it's official. You need to join the tournaments with us. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Too high, too high. Oh, okay. Nope, Ryan, get your kayak and come join us. Not, uh, no, quick release. He was small. We didn't want that one. <laughs> he was too small. We're knocking them on the Rapalus today. Man. Yes, yeah, bud. That seems to be the go-to bait. All right. Anyway. So explain to me, how did you get that? Oh, oh. Uh, I was controlling the boat and I had one. Because you were about to ask me something. There he is. I knew he'd come back. If I let it sit still for a minute. White perch. What? <laughs> white perch. Another white perch. Dude. Yes. Another white perch. Yes. Look at the whites. Uh, no! Uh, yeah. <laughs> just oh my god. Dinner is getting away from me. And I let that sit on to sit still too. This is nuts. But it counts, it was in the boat. Yeah. There's white perch here, bud. <laughs> oh. Lovely. Those are big white. Another one! Jeez, he hit that! Another white! Okay, all right, all right, it's official. It's official, okay, okay, okay. All right, you know what? You guys gonna keep biting? I'm gonna start keeping you, okay? Ah, and you got me hooked in my pants. Okay. Oh my lord. Hooked up in my pants. There we go. Alright. Okay. There's a school of whites here. You know what? You guys are coming home with me. You hit that as soon as it I stopped the bait. Pause the bait for a minute. Was that a white perch or a bass? White perch, yes! Yeah. White perch. Oh boy, man, these are some big whites. They're great. Woo! Look at that, man. Look at the size of these whites. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, uh, you're. Yeah, you guys are going home to the fryer. White perch? Is it a white perch? Kind of feels like it. Ooh, what's that? I seen that. I I couldn't tell. Is it a bass or a perch? White perch, it's a perch. Throw him in the boat. Get him in. Nice. 
Nice, Ryan. Oh, you're going to feed me good tonight. I want to. Oh, boy. Yeah, all the perch you catch, you, you put right in that boat. Do not get rid of them. Oh, I'm not putting them Nope, nope, nope. That's the only... Everybody, everybody says, oh, pickerel are bad. You know, you got to throw them up on land. Uh, give me a couple white perch. They ain't going back. Tell you that right now. <laughs> Just making a joke there, but, you know. Oh! There's a good hit. And it's a white perch! Double header! <laughs> Get in the boat! <laughs> Man, I'll tell you right now, Murphy Lake has a good, healthy population of white perch. That is amazing. Look at the size of these things. They'll even look better in the pan. <laughs> Aren't they considered to be a panfish? Well, uh, in a sense, yes, to a degree, perch are a panfish because there a lot of people fish for like jumbo perch out in Ontario and them places. But uh, they are a member of the bass family. I mean, oftentimes, uh, white perch, they're usually called uh, white bass because uh, that's the nickname they are given. But, uh, no, white perch, they are a part of the bass family and they're pretty much the cousin to the yellow perch uh, here. Yeah. Yeah. Just like the largemouth bass is pretty much like the cousin or neighbor to the smallmouth bass that we have here. Man, he smashed that rapala so good. That's a bass, but... All right, settle down, come on. See, see what I'm doing, Ryan? Yeah. Look at me. I know. Yep. Rod's never in the water. Right. You got one? I thought I did. Oh, looked like you did. Yeah, I did. Nice. Keep going. It's alright. Old Rapala BX Minnow, man. I'm telling you. Slaying them to this evening, including the perch. Hit him. Nice bass. Spitter bite. <laughs> go, that's a good one. Bring him in. Here you go. I'm gonna need you to give me a little hand here. Ryan, rod tip up. I can help you if you have your rod up. You saw what I did, right? Like you gotta have it up. I know. Okay. That's a good bass. Oh yeah. You didn't even say fish on. No, I didn't. Because it just fit me soon. Just be conversation. Oh, that's alright. What is it, a spinner? Yep, yep. spinner. No spinner, man. Ain't faithful. Ryan, that's a good bass. Got the I'll get the net ready. Nice. See what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> when you have your rod up, I can quickly get it. Yeah. <laughs> Because I don't want to hit... Ooh, did I get it one? Oh, no. Oh, yeah, I do. <laughs> he hit first, and he hit my uh, Rapala the next. Nice. That's a pretty big one. No, not as big as yours. <laughs> I mean, the one I... Uh, oh, the one you got. <laughs> I was going to say, what are you on about? <gasps> Ow. Oh, come on. Settle down. He hit once as soon as I started reeling, and then he smacked it again. Ugh. Oh. Man, I got to tell you, this bait has been fired this evening. So before the night ends, I want to see here if I can get a bass around the Nova Scotia flag, which is where I'm from in Canada, Nova Scotia. It would be kind of epic if I can actually get a bass on this. 
I can't promise if I get one. I don't care the size. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> yeah. And there it is. I don't care if it's small. Right there in front of the flag because that's where I'm from. Nova Scotia, Canada, here. Been doing this for far too long in the fishing channel. And I don't care if it's a dink. Look at that right there. In front of the flag, right there, Nova Scotia, Canada. What a way to end the evening. Catching a bass in front of my home flag here in Nova Scotia, Canada.